My name is John Gerard. Uh, I'm in a production space where we are producing a commission for Galway International Arts Festival, uh, Galway 2020, which is the European capital of culture. So as an artist, I produce virtual worlds. I call them simulations. They are produced using what are called game engines. If you play virtual games, it's, it's the same technology. While the finished artworks look a bit like film and video, it's very important that people understand that they're not. They are uh, virtual worlds, and the works are most commonly installed in the public domain. It's a big part of my ambition as an artist is to talk to as broad a public as possible on the street using these kind of technologies. So Mirror Pavilion is big. It's a seven meter by seven meter LED wall. The commission came about really through a historic conversation with the artistic director, Paul Fahey, where we stood at the Corrib River and we talked about energy and we talked about sustainability and we talked about history. So the significance of the two locations, uh, one is in the centre of Galway city and it's called Clada Key, and the other one is in Connemara, it's called Derry Gimla Bog. What's nice is that uh, people can collide with this work at Clada Key at any time of the day or night. They can walk up at five o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the evening, it doesn't matter. They will have an art experience. I love the idea of people who may not really have a close relationship with contemporary art to see something in the distance and go down. And you know, my greatest ambition is that they will be moved by this work. It is made up of uh, three walls, which are clad in mirror polished metal. And the fourth wall, which let's just call it the front, is a high resolution LED wall. The way that functions is you have a portrait of the place that this box is in, that this sculpture is in. So you can see the landscape. And actually, if you walk up to it, you can see yourself. I'm always interested in this space where it looks real, but it's not. It's a sort of a slippery space between the, the real and the unreal. People are very familiar with video and film, but they're less familiar with this very realistic virtuality. Mm -hmm.